Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to recover your Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies using Ledger Live. So let's get started. All right, so this question comes up for me quite a bit. Uh, there's a lot of people that have to uh, reinstall Ledger Live or they purchase a new computer and they really don't know how to recover their uh, accounts. Uh, of course, they feel like their cryptocurrency is gone and they're trying to get it back, but it really hasn't gone anywhere. You just need to reestablish the interface to your accounts. So uh, basically what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna launch Ledger Live. All right, so this is what you'll be presented with if you've installed Ledger Live Clean on a new machine or an old machine where it got erased or the hard drive crashed or something of that nature and you had to reinstall Ledger Live Clean. So you're presented with this welcome screen. You can choose the way you want Ledger Live to look. All right, you'll hit get started. Now here is where a lot of people get confused. And of course you do, you know, this is brand new to many people. They don't quite understand what's going on and the interplay between Ledger Live and the device. Uh, but let me just clarify something. If Ledger Live crashed on your computer or you had to buy a new computer and you've reinstalled Ledger Live clean, you haven't done anything to your device. You can see my device uh, has all the apps on it that were on there before. Um, and, and nothing has changed on the Ledger device. So, but a lot of people get confused and they think they need to restore this device. You really don't need to touch this device. Everything's fine on the device, unless the device got replaced, but we're not talking about that. We're just talking about our computer and our copy of Ledger Live today. So when you're presented with these things, you don't want this set up new device. That might get you. You might think, oh, I'm, ex I'm ex setting up uh, Ledger Live on this new device. My computer is the new device. Well, they're talking about the Ledger device. So you don't need to set up the Ledger device as a new device, right? It's already initialized. It's already got all the private keys on there. We're not restoring from recovery phrase. What we're doing is skipping the device setup, right? We're not uh, we've already got Ledger Live installed. Our device is already initialized and set up. So just hit skip new device. And then we'll choose our device uh, depending on what you've got. We hit continue. We get to this part, um, the security check. We're assuming that all of these are the same as the first time you set up Ledger Live. Now here we want to make sure that we've got the device connected and we've entered our PIN and then we hit check now. Now, if we don't have the device connected and we haven't entered our PIN, then Ledger Live will tell us. It'll say, hey, connect your device. Uh, now, uh, you'll wanna hit allow Ledger Manager. Now, that just means hit both buttons when you see this uh, message. We'll hit that. And our security check has completed. All right, and then we'll just hit continue. And there we go, boom. Our device, is, our device is ready. Well, our device was always ready. <laughs> now it's now just read what it says. Install some apps on your device and access the portfolio. Well, we can skip that because our device already has our apps on there. So let's just move on to Ledger Live. And it's where I left it, right? You're probably gonna see this, right? You'll see add account or go to manager to install apps. Like I said, uh, we've already, the, the apps are already installed. So the first thing we'll do is add an account. So I'll start with Bitcoin. We'll hit add account. We'll choose Bitcoin and we'll hit continue. Now we need to have the device connected. Like I said, it has to be plugged in, the pin entered. And what are we trying to add? We're trying to add Bitcoin. So let's look at what the, the screen says. It says, go open Bitcoin. So we open Bitcoin by highlighting the Bitcoin app and then making sure it says Bitcoin down below, hitting both buttons and entering the Bitcoin app. We don't have to do anything else on this device. We don't need to go into the settings or anything crazy. We just need to stick right here with application is ready. Now, what it's doing is it's scanning the device, looking for any private keys that I've set up. 
Now I've set up quite a few. You'll probably only have one or two. And they'll most likely have balances, right? Because you had some Bitcoin in there. So I'm a little out of the ordinary because I'm always playing around with this stuff. But here's what we're looking for at the bottom, right? These, this is what we're after. I'm gonna deselect all these empty accounts. There are two accounts with balances. Now, what you had them named before is not really important, but uh, for your own sanity, you might wanna just name them uh, something meaningful for you, uh, but it doesn't matter what you had them named before. You don't have to choose the same names again. I'll call this one main, whatever you decide you wanna call them. Then we'll hit add accounts, and then we can close here. And lo and behold, we've got our Bitcoin account back. We can go over here, to, uh, this is the total uh, portfolio, right? We can go to accounts and see that I've got two different Bitcoin accounts back right where they belong, with the balances, with the transaction history, everything's fine, right? All right, so let's move on to the next cryptocurrency. Let's hit add account and I'll choose Ethereum and then I'll hit continue. And I'll just let my device stick where it was. And uh, the first thing Ledger says is you need to quit the application on your device. So I just need to navigate using the metal button. This is the metal button over to quit. And when I'm on quit, I'll hit both buttons, right? Now Ledger Live wants me to open the Ethereum app on my device. So I'll use the metal button to navigate over to the Ethereum app. All right, you see I got a bunch of apps on mine. All right, now uh, I'll just let it scan for any Ethereum accounts that I have on this device. Okay, so on my device it's found uh, several, but this is the one that I'm interested in with the bigger balance. This is kind of an older one with a small balance. I really don't care about that one. I'll just do that and I'm just this I remember I called it Ethereum main so I'm just going to rename it what I had it named before we'll hit add account and close and there we go now I've got my Ethereum main on there notice also that it indicates that there are eight tokens inside this Ethereum main account these are all my ERC 20 tokens that I had stored in that Ethereum account they're all safe and sound too Everything's back, right? Nothing went anywhere. All the private keys were stored on my Ledger device. Let's move on to the next one, right? Uh, let me close this window. Sometimes I forget that uh, my little uh, secondary camera is covering up the Add Account button, right? So we hit Add Account, and let's go to the next cryptocurrency. Uh, I'll choose XRP. We'll hit Continue. All right, let's get that secondary camera back. Uh, wants me to get out of Ethereum now, right? I was in an Ethereum app, so I need to get out. So I'm going to hit the metal button, go to quit, hit both buttons. Now it wants me to go into the XRP app. So I'll just navigate back to the XRP app, if I can find it. There it is, right? I'll hit both buttons. says application is ready so I'm just uh, waiting and now Ledger Live is going to scan for any uh, XRP accounts there is one right there it's got a balance in it I just call this one XRP we'll hit add account we'll hit close and now we've got our XRP account back right balance and transaction history all right so let's just go to the next account I'll get this out of the way we'll hit add account up here you can hit add account down here too it doesn't matter they both do the same thing All right let's go to Tezos All right I've got some Tezos on here we'll hit continue all right it wants me to exit the XRP app I'll do that hit quit and I need to go into the Tezos account so I'll navigate over to the Tezos account Hit both buttons. And now it's scanning for any Tezos accounts. All right, I have two on here. I'm not really interested in this old one. 
Uh, I'll just put this one on here. This one I called Tezos. Remember, you can edit the name of the account right here in the field before you add, right? We'll hit Add Account. We'll close. And there's my Tezos, right? All safe and sound with transaction histories. Let's go to the next account. I'll, I'll hit this one down here. All right, I had some Tron on there. We'll hit Continue. Now I need to get out of Tezos and move over to my Tron app. There's Tron, we'll hit both buttons. All right, and there's my Tron account. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the name there. I had two Tron accounts, one is empty and they're asking me if I wanna add a new one, I don't. So I'm just gonna deselect everything except this Tron account. We'll hit close here. At this point, I would like to uh, mention that uh, just like Ethereum, all of the uh, Tron tokens are there. They're not really showing up as priced in Ledger Live yet, maybe later. Uh, and then another thing is that my Tron was frozen. Uh, I was earning Tron uh, by uh, freezing it. So you'll notice there that everything's back, right? It knows it's frozen. It's still allowing me to claim the Tron. I'm earning Tron. Uh, and none of that got erased when uh, Ledger Live went away. And also Tezos. We'll hit Tezos. It's uh, still being delegated. Everything's fine. When, uh, when Ledger Live goes away, it's just an interface, right? Everything that was going on under the hood is still going on. I'm still earning Tezos and I'm still earning Tron. All right, and as, so you can see that I've uh, reestablished all of my accounts uh, as, uh, and that's all you really need to do. As you noticed, I had multiple accounts uh, you may have multiple Bitcoin accounts, uh, so you just tick off the ones you want and uh, ignore the ones you don't want to see anymore. Um, and you've got all your cryptocurrency accounts back with their transaction histories. Easy peasy. If there are any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I do a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my very best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.